Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Jamie and I make cleaning and organizing videos every Sunday and Wednesday. We are a military family currently living overseas in Germany. If you're here for cleaning motivation, grab your coffee, grab your dusters, and let's get into it. These first couple of shots that I'm showing you are just all the places that we store different military gear. So we have like our front closet, random drawers around our house, we have an entire room in our basement that we store gear. And I'm sure from the outside it would make more sense if we kept it all in one place, but as organization is all about function, it's best that we have it in all the different areas so we can reach for it as we need it. As you will know if you're in the military or as you will see by all of these clips, there is an overwhelming amount of it and not all of it is used all of the time. So it wouldn't really make sense to keep it all in one spot. In fact, it would make it harder. So I'm finally getting started in organizing, listening to my audiobook, and starting in our spare bedroom. You got me dancing in a storm, burning everything we know, dressing up as firefighters. You got me dancing in your store, or I'm looking like It's just one of those things that's never ending and as soon as one of us goes to school or to the field or something it feels like everything I did gets undone but my husband hasn't been able to find his raincoat or wet weather gear and I seem to have two so I'm guessing one of them is his So I made this channel so I could motivate you to clean your home, but I just wanted to come on here and be really honest with you. I'm already overwhelmed. Just showing you the clips of all the places that we have unorganized military gear. And all I've done, which you saw in the last clip, was empty my assault pack and my husband's assault pack, which I was also using, I guess. And my bag from my last weekend for army stuff. So, that's not a lot. <laughs> and I'm already overwhelmed. I already don't know what to do with it. We have so much gear. Like, I think we have more than normal people in the military even have. And not just because there's two of us. But because I've switched components so many times, I don't think I've explained that, but I was in the Minnesota National Guard and then I was in the New York National Guard and I'm in the Army Reserves in Europe. And that's just to follow my husband around the world as he gets stationed to different places. And I always get like an issue of new things, even things I don't want, things I don't ask for. And so like, as you saw me going through things, a lot of things are still in packages. A lot of things still have tags and and I think I'm just gonna have to move to a space that's already got a system but it needs to be reset and you'll know what I mean if you've ever organized anything no matter how well you do it it there will come a day when you just throw things in there I need to go reset some spaces that are already organized and see what I can do additionally to make those spaces work better Definitely like bins and organizers that I already have that I'm not utilizing to the best of their ability and in some shots I showed you uh, like a big room that had a ton of our gear in that's in our basement and those big black boxes we got and I haven't even organized 
anything into them. Not that it'll be like pretty because it's military gear. It'll probably just be a bucket full of like heavy duty things because they're heavy duty buckets. But they're one of them is completely empty and then one of them just like has a few things in it. It looks full but it's not. So those will definitely be helpful when I get to that. That will eliminate a lot of the clutter in that room. As well as, again, it's not pretty, it's not Pinterest worthy, it's not Instagrammable, but if if you're military, you'll understand. A lot of things can just be organized in our military bags. I did end up leaving that room and going somewhere where I knew it was already as organized as it was ever going to be and reset his closet. My husband's day-to-day -day uniforms we keep in our closet in our bedroom because of course he uses them every day. degrees and climbing which would probably be why I was so cranky starting off this chore. A couple of days later I do go back and finish organizing our spare bedroom and that closet which is where I keep my military uniforms. Also I just wanted to add that we keep Tide Pods with our military gear because if we travel somewhere and we need to do laundry that's what we use but I don't use Tide Pods on my laundry at home. now taking some of my uniforms out of the closet because as we moved to Germany the army switched uniforms and so we have a good mixture of both and the ones that we no longer use don't really need to be on hand. basement storage room which is where a majority of the gear that we don't use on a daily basis is and as you will see over the next five to ten minutes there is a lot of stuff down here and if you are military you also understand that none of it can go anywhere it just is unused gear that just waits and waits and waits 
until one day you're out of the military and you can get rid of all of it. organizing things into these big black boxes known as tough boxes because they're pretty tough. It probably doesn't look like I have a method to the madness but I'm actually taking all of our government owned gear and putting it in these boxes because I don't ever want it to get lost or ruined because we will have to return it to the government someday. Unfortunately we have four times as much stuff as we need because there is two of us and because the army switched uniforms, meaning they went from that gray color you see on some of the stuff to the brown or tan color you see on other stuff, so we have two of everything each. Buy what I want, I don't want it. Do what I like, I don't like it. My life is a mess, screaming with boredom. I don't feel nice. Every so often you see me pick up the broom because it's very dusty down here and every bug in Germany has come to this room to die. I'm now labeling the bag with some masking tape and you'll see me label quite a few things with that. It's not fancy or glamorous, but really nothing about the military life is really that glamorous. And there's about a 50% chance that by labeling the contents of the bag, it will deter my husband from ripping through it the first time he can't find what he needs. Just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down. 
Car. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine, and I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. Just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna take a trip to Mars. Nothing can. I'm finishing up the basement room by putting some things in some other storage boxes. This box is just full of things that we need or may need one day but just aren't useful in Germany for one reason or another. For example, I just emptied this bin and added it to this larger bin and it was shower curtains and shower rings that are almost new and in really good shape but we just didn't need those things here. And I just filled this last box with never-ending hats and gloves that we use in the army and gave the room one final sweep. I've been putting this task off for weeks, so I'm so glad that it's finally finished. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more.